Welcome back. This is part two of Code Fight's arcade mode JavaScript section. Let us check it out. This is a century from year. So I recently learned about Code Fight. It's actually pretty cool to be able to have your JavaScript tested once you actually learn a lot of the syntax. So here this lesson is saying, given a year, return the century it is in. The first century spans from the year 1 up to and including the year 100. The second from the year 101 up to and including the year 200, etc. Example, for year 1905, the output should be century from year and it should give us 20 for 20th century. For year 1700, the output should be century from year, it should return 17th century. So input output time limit shouldn't take more than four seconds. Um, input integer years, what's going to be passed in. Positive integer designated in the year. So this one's a lot more difficult than their very first one. I think that one's just to kind of get you used to it or to kind of understand but let's zoom out. So we have our function century from year that should take in a number. So here it says if it's one up to 100, it should give us the first century. From 101 up to 200, second century. So there's different things I'm trying to think right now. I know we can probably look at like, use a method like char at to turn the number into a string and look at the first number, second number, and decide. But now that I'm thinking, that wouldn't work unless we have a condition that specifies um, numbers ending in 0, 0. No, you see that seems too complicated. Um, so, I know that, what can we do? If we return just to get an idea, what about like year divided by a hundred? Um, so what if I do return year divided by a hundred? Let's run this test and see what happens. So three out of seven passed. Test one did not. Input was 1905. Output was 1905. Expected 20. We could probably round up and down as well. So, if we round up or down, we could also use modulus to see whether or not there's a remainder in there. And if not, then it's probably divisible by 100. So, what if instead of division, we try percent? So return your modulus. So if there's no remainder, so we could do something like like that. Um, we can put that in an if statement. This will be like a condition. So if if year is divisible by a hundred with no remainder then we could do do something we can uh, maybe return uh, return year divided by 100 that'll be the first one and then we can have a second else else if or else uh, we'll just go with else for now um, this is where we can round and we can do something like else uh, what can we do so this right here would automatically return the century but now if it's plus I guess we could try like a math.floor math.floor would round down automatically and then we can do in there, year divided by 100, 
Let's see what this does real quick. So this output is null and I'm trying to think why. Because I didn't tell it to return anything I just said. So let's see what happens when I say return. We'll run test. So now 1905 rounds down returns 19. So now I'm thinking if I just add one, then that should actually work for everything. And it looks like it's going to work. Let's submit. And it worked. That was actually a really good problem right there. So let's go back and just go over this again. So we pass in a year the year, let's say it's 1700, when checked, if it's divisible by 100, it returns no remainder. So 17 is what we return here, which would be the 17th century. If it was 1701 divided by 100, it would have a remainder. So this would be false. It would never run. It would come to the else, which will return that same year divided by 100 and then it would floor it down and then just add one to it so 1701 would become 18 and that's pretty much it for this one hope you guys enjoyed it we'll be back for the next one